Hello everyone. Welcome back to our social media app series. Today we are going to set up like button and comment section. So without further ado, let's start building. So first thing what we want to do is go to our Firebase collections and add likes to our post collection. Query type will be document reference. Reference will be users and you need to mark this as a list. Okay, good. Now we need to add new collection, which will be our comments. Click on create, and now we can start to add fields in here. So our first field will be comment, and type will be string. Then we need comment time, and type will be date time. Then add post reference. This will be document reference, and collection will be posts. Then we also need user reference. Pick document reference and click users. Now head back to posts. We are going to add one more field. Field is comments. Pick document reference, comments, and we are all set. Great. Now when we are done with that, we need to go back to our database and add the comments collection in there. Click on start a collection. Name will be comments. Auto ID and save. Good job. Now let's head back to our app and continue building. Next step, what we want to do is create a page for our comments. I am going to content section to see if I can find something that I can use. This looks kind of nice, so I'm going with this one. Give your page a name and let's continue building. Let's edit the topic of this page to be post. In here will be poster. This one we can remove. In here comes comments and this bottom section we can remove. After that, let's head back to home page. From the home page, I am going to copy this container to be our template for comments. Now go back to comment section and paste it in here. Let's remove all the useless stuff from here so you can only comment text. This button will be our post comment button so I'm going to rename it as a post a comment. I move this comment text in here so it looks better. And add a bit of padding into that. Great, we can start to build our comments by removing all the data that is already in the container. Also, this needs a bit of editing, so it doesn't look this terrible. Okay, now we need to start building our comment field. I'm going to start this by adding row into our page. And in the row, we want to add our text field. Let's also rename this as a comment. and add a bit of padding to our text field so it looks better. Scroll this column all the way down that you find max length. Let's put 200 in here and click on enforced and switch the keyboard type to multi-line. We are also missing the date of this post. I am going to duplicate this description and switch this to be our date of the post. Select all and clear all of this and switch this to be post date. Also, let's add some padding to make it look cooler. Also, let's wrap this in a row and move the entire text to right side of the canvas. 
Perfect. Now we are ready to start edit the user interface of our home page. Click on our elements and add row into our post. And inside our row, we want icon button, which will be our comment button. Also, we need text to show how many comments are there. Same thing with like button. Add toggle icon in to our canvas. And duplicate the text to showcase likes. And move this text next to our like button. Okay, let's start to edit our comments. So click on icon and switch it to better looking icon. Add a bit of padding to the row so it looks better. Then change the text so it looks better while we are building. And for the toggle icon, we are changing the icon as well. Search for heart and you will find good icon. And our on icon will be also heart, but this one will be filled. And last but not least, make this text look better. If we go back to our like button, we can see here how it will look like in the actual app when it's pressed. In my opinion, this looks quite good. Let's move the comment text a little bit to the side and we can continue. Now it's time to set up navigation to our comment button. We are going to open the add action and navigate to our comments page. Also, we need to define a parameter. Click on add a parameter. Choose document reference. Give your parameter a name. And collection will be posts. And we're going to add one more parameter. Do the same thing, but with user reference. And collection will be users. Okay, perfect. Now it's time to pass the parameters. Click on pass twice. The post reference will be our post reference. And our user reference will be our user reference from the posts. Now it's time to catch the parameters that we just passed. We need to head out to our comments page and start to edit it. Check out your logic tree and click the column. We are going to add query to that. Query type will be document from reference. Collection will be posts and use the post reference and click on confirm. Now let's wrap this username in to a row and add a new query to that row. Query will also be document reference. Collection will be users. And click on confirm. Now we start to work on the comment section. Let's remove this query, what we have here already, and add a new one. Click on add query, query collection. Collection will be comments and we want to filter this query. Filter will be post reference, must be equal to post reference parameter that we just passed. And we want to order by date and this will be decreasing and click on confirm. Then bind data to the comment. We need to add one more query in order to make this work. You need to check that this row also has a query for document reference and users. Click on the text, click users, and click on email. After that, click on the text. Choose comment document and comment. And then do same thing with the date. Also switch this to date time format and choose relative as it looks the best. We can start to work on the post. 
Let's start with the image. Open up Post Document and choose Image. Then in here, we want to go to the user's document and choose email. And this text in here will be our topic. And let's change this to date as well. Again, choose date time format and click relative and confirm. Now we can start to work on our comment button. Click the button and add a new action. First action will be create document to Firebase. Collection will be comments and add all the fields in here. So first, our comment will come from variable, widget state, and text field. For the time, go to Global Properties and choose Current Time and Confirm. For Post Reference, go to Post Document and choose Post Reference and Confirm. And last for User Reference, click on Authenticated User and User Reference. Let's also add new action to this. This action will be clear text fields and choose the comment text field. Then you can close this. Our next task is to go back to our homepage and start to work on the likes and comments count. Click on the text next to likes. Go to post document. Click likes. Switch this to number of items. This will be number format. And choose compact and confirm. Now click on the like button and add conditional action to it. Click on conditions and single condition. For our first value, we want to click on post document and likes. Click on list contains item. Authenticated user, user reference, and confirm. For our second value, switch this to true. Now we can start to work on the true side. Click on add action and add update document to that. Document will be post document, post reference and confirm. Now add one field to that and switch this to likes. Click on remove from set, authenticated user and user reference. Copy this action and paste this to the false side. And in here, we want to switch this to add to set. And then we can close this. Now it's time to work on our comments count. Click on the text and add a query to that. Query collection. And collection will be comments. Switch this to count. and our filter will be post reference must be equal to post document and post reference. Now go back to the text and click on comments count, switch this to number format and compact and default value will be zero. Okay. Now it's time to work on our errors. So firstly, let's add the toggle icon value. Click on the value. Likes. List contains item. Authenticated user and user reference. So the next step is that we have to do this query again. Let's remove this query and create a new one. Query will be document from reference, collection will be users, go to comments document and choose user reference. Perfect, now our error disappeared. 
Now it's time to go to our Firebase settings and validate and deploy everything. Before you test your app, make sure that your Firebase rules are not too strict. I changed mine so that everyone can do everything, so everything should work perfectly. Now let's try out our like button. And it seems to be working well. What about comments? I'm going to write a random comment in here and post it. And it seems to be working well also. Before I end this video, there is one more thing that I need to show. And that is how to showcase the users that have liked a post on a separate page. So the first thing what we have to do is create a new page that will showcase the likes. I'm just going to pick this one and name this one as post liked by. Let's copy this list view and after that delete all the useless stuff from this page. And now I'm going to paste this list back and change this text to likes. Let's change this to users as well. And start to delete these containers. Now create a page parameter. I'm going to name this as likes reference. And this will be document. And collection will be posts. Go back to your home page. Click on the like count text and add action to that. We are going to navigate to liked by page and pass a parameter. This will be post document. Click confirm and close this. Now go back to your like page. Wrap this container in to a list view so it will work better. Click on Generate Children from Variable on the list view. Give your variable a name and set up the max items. Value will be the parameter that we just passed. And click Confirm. Now go to the Firebase query. Select Query a Collection, this will be Users, and a single document. And click on Confirm. Then click the text in your container. Choose the user's reference and select email. And add default value. After that, we can delete this image from here. I'm going to add little bit of padding in here. Then we can fix these errors in here. So this we can change to navigate back. And this action we can delete completely. And now we can try out our app. Now when I click on this number, it should show who have liked this post. Perfect. You can ignore that error. It is only complaining about the Firestore rules. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to give suggestions. What should I cover next? I see you in my next video. Have a great day.